Okay, here we are with the tire change video. We got Mr. Browning here wanting to freshen up. Got a race tomorrow. So I've already got everything kind of laid out right where I need it. And we're going to go through and show everybody how to do it. These ratcheting wrenches are a lifesaver. They sneak right down in there really well. We're going to take this rim lock nut and go right out to flush. I've already got the air stem nut and cap off. But then we're going to take this $5 little tool right here that's super handy. Fit it down inside there. Remove the core. Okay. And I've always put the hand down neat underneath where you can catch it real good like that. Put that back there. And then Motion Pro spoons. These are really nice because they don't have any sharp edges. So they keep the rims in good shape. Now I started sprocket side up, right? I like to say that when I go to bed and I start the evening, I lay down flat on my back and my teeth are up. So the teeth are up when you start a tire change. And all we're gonna do this time is that step, that step, and break it down off the bead, right? Just stick that in there, make sure you get it right on a knob and that'll help, see there? And then once it pops down, it comes down the rest of the way real nicely, right? And then we might wanna push on that rim lock a little, get it to loosen up. And then what we're gonna do is flip over, take it off the bead on the other side, and it's the same thing. You're gonna peel down in there, Get it to start. And once it starts, it'll come down. All like that. And then make sure that the rim locks loose again. Just put your iron on it. Get a good straight pull on it. And you'll feel it kind of give up. And then once it does, we want to put that at 9 o'clock. So now we're in bed. We try to get to bed by 9 o'clock. Right? But sometimes we work late and we don't get there till 11. Right? 11. We just put the spoon in at 11. If it's a really bad night, man, it might be it might be midnight. We put that one in at midnight. And then what's great about a third one is we've been working really hard. We're gonna put it in at one o'clock, right? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna pull 11 o'clock over. Make sure you push down over here and then pull it over. Open your hand up where if you accidentally come over real fast, you don't knock a knuckle. Don't wanna do that, so tuck it in under there. Okay, here's Mr. Midnight, both hands. Nice and controlled, the hand open. Back it up with the other hand. Now here's Mr. One O'Clock in the morning. Okay, now by the time you get to here, you're pretty much off to the races, right? It gets way easier. So then we just take our time and go a couple, two or three spokes, work our way around to that bead lock, still right here. Okay, nice and easy. Take your time. Now on that rim lock, I try not to get within two spokes of it because you'll put the spoon in there and actually damage the rim lock itself. So kind of skip over it a little ways. Then that last little bit, pull it like that. We're gonna flip for the second side. Same thing, we're gonna put that rim lock at nine o'clock again. We're gonna work our way around. Now this time, the second side always goes easier. That's why we do sprocket side second, because it's easier. The rest of the tire is already wherever we want it to be. So again, 11 and midnight, pull it, pull it, and I'll go ahead and use the third one because I've got it, I might as well. Right there like that. And then just same thing, work your way around, three or four spokes at a time. Okay, now when you get to that last little third of it or so, Take your body weight, push on it. I could put my hand all the way down through there. Right, the stem came out. It's already past the rim lock. I'm gonna move my spoons out of the way, bring it around to me. Nice little push, use my knee. Right there, drop it. You don't wanna drop it. Take it off. <clears throat> now to put it back on, sprocket side down. Still want rim lock about 90 degrees. Actually, we're going to bring it around to us. And then now, right now, that tube's in a really nice shape already in there. It's kind of at home with itself. So what we're going to do is, we're going to grab our stem, blow all the dust and stuff out of it, put it down in there. Same stem tool, just finger tight, you know, two fingers. You don't want to get that real tight. You don't want to ruin it. So just run it in there, thumb and forefinger, right there. That's all that needs. Now's the time to take that out. 
give it a good inspection you know make sure you don't have any little bits of something uh, you know hung up in it give it a good look see this one looks really nice really new and so we're gonna get the new one out and stuff it in there okay just take your time since it has a little bit of air in it it's gonna it's gonna bloom back out to the shape of the tire really well that's what keeps it from getting hung up in the spoons is the fact that it has a little bit of air in it so it's it's more comfortable that way I'd say okay now with the sprocket down <clears throat> I know the bike effectively would be rolling to my right I'm wanting to put the sharper edge where it's digging forward and giving me better traction so we're there right now so what we want to do is stay with me we went to the backwards direction to lube this side and turn it back over right so now we're going to grab the, the good stuff we're going to drag that around there and give it a nice nice even coating all the way around Okay, I just lube one side at a time. You could flip it over and lube the other side, but I'd rather just lube it one side at a time. Now, <clears throat> this part right here is a little bit interesting. We're gonna shove the tube in first. We're gonna put this nut on about half, half-ish, somewhere around half, maybe a little more, a little less. Now I'm gonna push in the rim lock right here. I'm gonna get one foot down here on the stand and I'm gonna tuck that up in there right tuck it up in you're gonna give that tire a little 45 degree shove right there and then I'm gonna hold it right there put my gloves back on right fast okay grab my spoon started about that's probably about 10 o'clock okay 11 o'clock now notice I'm kind of pulling up before I shove the spoon in there so that I don't scratch that rim Okay, I'm pulling up, getting the spoon in there, shoving it in. Okay, now that last bite is one of the tough ones, so you really want to give it a good pull like that. And then shove it on over, just like that. Okay, now <clears throat> what we want to do is give it a little inspection right here, give it a little work. You know if you hear that little jiggle and wiggle, it's probably in good shape, okay? Now, this one, what you gotta do sometimes is kinda reach in there, work that up, and put that in there, okay? Because the stem has a little circular support in there, and every now and then the bead gets on top of that circular support, so you just gotta pick it up a little bit and push it in there a little bit. Give that a quick little inspection. And now it's it's free, that's free, you know you're in good shape. We're gonna lube the other side. We're three quarters of the way there. Give this side a nice coating, nice treatment. Okay. And then, so here we got the bead buddy right here, it helps you out a lot. Now we're gonna put the, the rim lock at three o'clock and then flip this around this way. That kinda, that kinda is kinda confusing, but it's only flipped around for just a second. We're gonna start at three o'clock, but we're gonna insert that first and it would be at 12 o'clock, I'd say. <clears throat> and then we're gonna work our way towards that bead lock right off the bat, get that hard work right out of the way, right? Now when I go like that for that one, I'm gonna push it in so that it automatically tucks itself in. Right there, just like that. Same with the valve stem to push it in, get it to tuck itself in there. Now you've got the hardest stuff out of the way. Now you're just pretty much off to the races, you know? Don't, and take small, nice bites, take your time. And if it starts getting to be a booger, then you come back over to the opposite side and push it down 
You'll get to where you'll get a feel for it. You'll know when it's time to double check the opposite side. Okay, and then take a nice small bite right there. Okay, this will be the last bite. Last bite's always a technical little booger. Pull up on it right there real good. Bring it over. And right there. That's it right there. Now I got the Ryobi right here. Comes in super handy. And just clamp that. Put that on. Uh-oh, battery's a little low. I, I can hear it. And usually it'll beat up by about 16. <clears throat> 16, 17, maybe 20 sometimes. And there you have it, that's it right there. We're gonna put air in it and bring it back down to about 15. We're going to ride tomorrow, and it'll be ready just to bleed down to 12 or 13 or whatever they like. Thanks for watching.